The NFL schedule is made by a combination of set rules, complex algorithms, and a dedicated team. The rules are input into the algorithm and it spits out over 100,000 possible schedule combinations. These are then combed over by that dedicated team over the course of several months until they finally get the perfect or imperfect schedule that then lands with the teams and of course the fans you probably know this next part already but just bear with me because i guarantee you with some people out there who probably don't know how this works but of course the nfl is broken down into two conferences the afc and the nfc right each conference is then broken down into four divisions north south east and west and each division consists of four total teams giving you a grand total of 32 nfl squads basic rules are as follows each team plays every team in their division twice throughout the year one time at the crib one time on the road so right off the back that's six of your 17 games each team also plays every team from a different division within your same conference for example this year the afc north plays the afc west again two of those games at home two of them on the road and just like that you're already up to 10 games now the next four games are similar you play each team from yet another division but this time it'll be against a division from outside your conference so once again for example the afc north is facing off against the nfc east that puts us at 14 out of 17 games and the last three are based on division rankings from the previous year so you already play every team in your division every team in a specific division from the other conference and every team in a specific division from your same conference so now you play one team from each of the remaining two divisions from your same conference one of those games is going to be on the road another one of those games is going to be at home then that last game is against an opponent from the opposing conference that's not already on your schedule now up until that last game everything from home in a way has been perfectly balanced and before we had 17 games you had eight home games and eight away games back when everything just made sense but now they try to keep it balanced by alternating every year so last year the afc had nine home games and this year the nfc will have nine games at home According to AWS, since you got 32 teams playing 272 games across 18 weeks, each individual team actually has 1 billion, billion. schedule options. Now check it out, back in the day a cat named Val Pinchback used to make the schedule like Wayne comes up with lyrics. Dude ain't writing nothing down, he just stared at the board and ate pistachios, moving pins around like Rain Man or something. Today the process is more science than just pure art. But they wisely haven't phased the humans out of the situation completely. They use algorithms to narrow it down and give them lots of possibilities. Then cats like Howard put the human touch on it. Again, nobody's really thugging it like Pinchback did back in the day. But the computers are especially useful to keep things somewhat fair because humans yes you yes me yes howard all have inherent baked in bias real quick before we jump in a quick word from today's sponsor ip vanish use ip vanishes vpn today and access an unrestricted internet privately and securely get access to the world's most popular websites right at your fingertips listen man they got apps for windows mac os ios android and amazon fire stick so whatever you using they got you covered the IP Vantage network is secured with advanced encryption standards which have been independently verified. No user traffic logs and over 2,200 VPN servers in 75 plus locations around the world. They also give you access to sports streaming from anywhere so you can keep up with all your team's games even when you're traveling. So you can use IP Vantage to access content that you otherwise wouldn't have access to. So try IP Vantage's VPN for 30 days completely risk free and save on the yearly plan by going to ipvanish.com slash flimlo that's ipvanish.com slash flimlo and also of course the links down in the description shout out to ipvanish once again for sponsoring the video without further ado it's time to jump back in now some people can be a lot more biased than others but bias exists within each and every one of us and howard in some cases uses his gut to determine certain primetime games and he asks himself a question does this feel like a big football game? I think questions like this are generation dependent to some extent. It feels like the question that stuck us with Bears versus Packers in prime time every single year even when the bears had no quarterback it feels like a little old school bias kind of bleeding into the process and i swear this better not be the year they decide not to go that route but at the same time i'm sure them games 
bang in certain parts of the country so no disrespect to howard it's never gonna be perfect but at the end of the day i think it's really damn smart to pair the human element with the ai element unlike so many platforms who fall asleep at the wheel and let the ai completely dry the ship but the computers come in extremely clutch for certain types of jobs that are really essential especially when it comes to trying to keep things fair in a vast ocean of endless possibilities for example the algorithm weighs in on things like three game road trips if you had one last year you probably won't get one this year because the system's gonna weigh that much more heavily for a team that recently had a three game road trip versus a team who has not i do wonder how much they weigh in on thursday night games international games and other things like that because even if you're supposed to have nine home games but one of them is overseas well i think you see the problem now each team's guaranteed at least one international game within an eight year period like that's the least you can have but there doesn't seem to be a cap on how many you can have but i think most of that is out of the schedule makers hands anyway on their end bro all they can do is try to ease the burden of the travel for the team so they look at a three-week window around international games and try to give teams a convenient lead up into that game and then preferably give them a bye week on the back end the last major factor is making sure that all the networks are happy. CBS, NBC, Fox, Amazon, hell, Peacock got games. Netflix even threw their hat into the ring as they just signed a three-year deal for the Christmas games. The schedule makers have to balance it in a way that every network feel like they get in their money's worth. And if you're thinking about where the money's coming from, they're probably really damn high on the priority list, like maybe at the top. So basically, it's an extremely complex situation when you're trying to meticulously schedule all the episodes of America's favorite TV program and that's without me even really getting into the primetime games or the flex scheduling but if you want to know more about that process watch this video right here and I'll see y'all over there